Hello everyone, Kirby here, and in today's movie review, I'm going to be reviewing a sci-fi action comedy film which came out in 1998, which, which a lot of people actually say that this movie later became a cult classic, and, of and it of course received a cult following too. So today, I'm going to be reviewing on the 1998 action comedy film, Small Soldiers. So what Small Soldiers is about is it's about the guy it's about this guy named Alan who's the son of a toy store owner and and uh like like uh there there's those new action figures that that came from a shipment uh to uh to Alan's uh father's toy store which uh, the, the new items were, um, were, were those new action figures, uh, which are those toy action figure soldiers called the Commando Elite, and those, uh, monster-like action figures called the Gorgonites. Um, a Alan actually liked, a Alan actually liked some of the toys, and he, he even thought he could use one of the toys to impress his girlfriend, played by Kirsten Dunst. So, um, Alan decided to buy the toys. Well, specifically, uh, the leader of the Commando Elite and the, one of the Gorgonites, named Archer. Uh, and, and yeah, at first, things got really normal. Alan really liked those toys, but... But then it later actually turns out that that the toys are all alive. Yeah, they the toys actually come to life. Um and and the so and the soldiers uh pretty much act really destructive. They can actually talk and pretty much do all sorts of things. And um and uh well basically the toys act like that because they were actually programmed with military technology. So basically what Alan has to do is that uh, he, so like he befriends uh, that Gorgonite named Archer. They actually become friends and they have to team up to uh, stop those uh, stop the commando elite. They have to destroy those toys as soon as possible uh, before they do uh, anything else that's dangerous, and that's basically how I can I can summarize the plot for Small Soldier. So my opinion on this movie, uh, yeah, I know there's some people that say that this movie doesn't really hold up, um, and well, I actually thought Small Soldiers was pretty decent. It wasn't that bad. Um, it's definitely not one of the best 90s movies ever, um, but I can understand why this movie became, later became a cult classic. It, of course, never got a sequel. Um, but yeah, um, there were things in Small Soldiers I actually liked, like, it actually had decent writing, and it, it had good acting, and I really liked the voice acting for the... Soldier toys too, especially Tommy Lee Jones, because he because he voices uh, the leader of the soldiers named Chip Hazard. Yeah, I actually thought Tommy Lee Jones did a pretty good job voicing him. And and I gotta say, um, they had a really good cast of, uh, of uh like, uh, famous actors that voiced the soldiers like. It felt like it got really all-star cast, the movie Small Soldiers. It got like an all-star cast, pretty much. And, oh yeah, another thing I really like about the movie is that it has a really good soundtrack. Yeah, like, if you check out the soundtrack of the movie, um, it, like, it, the movie features uh, really popular songs from popular artists that we all know, like, songs everybody, including Minos. Like, and, and Small Soldiers happens to be one of those, 
uh, one of those movies that actually has an amazing soundtrack. Uh, just like, just like how movies like Heavy Metal, uh, Forrest Gump, and Fast Times at Original High have the best soundtracks, considering the fact that it features songs from popular artists, and Small Soldiers is definitely one of them. Oh yeah, and another thing I want to add uh, is that Small Soldiers is actually the last movie to feature Phil Hartman. Yeah, Phil Hartman is actually in this movie, and and rest in peace to him. Yeah, it's it's really a it's really a big shame that he passed away. Like, um, twenty six years ago. Yeah, Phil Hartman was a legend. I definitely liked him uh, in The Simpsons, and. And of course, we're never going to forget about him. So, uh, rest in peace to Phil Hartman. But yeah, I thought Phil Hartman was pretty good in in Small Soldiers. Uh, and oh yeah, and also Dennis Leary is also in this is also so in this movie. He actually plays the the CEO of the of the toy factory that was behind those uh, like the Commando Elite and the Gorgonites. He was actually the one that wanted to. Um, make those toys into actual talking toys by, uh, in, by inserting, um, um, like, military technology chips into, into those soldiers. Although, of course, um, like, specifically, specifically Alan, uh, didn't even realize that, that those that those soldiers actually have those chips inside them that actually makes them become destructive and pretty much take over the world. Yeah. And, um, what I also always felt about the movie is that it kind of felt like a live action Toy Story. Now, I wouldn't really say Small Soldiers is a rip off of Toy Story. Sure, it, sure, they both feature movies about talking toys, but, they have a complete different plot and and a complete and a different company. And it's kind of funny how um, some people consider uh, like some people uh, compare Small Soldiers to Toy Story. It's kind of like how like considering that Small Soldiers is a DreamWorks movie, it's like how some some people uh, compare the DreamWorks movie Ants to. A Bug's Life, which is another Pixar movie. So, it's kind of ironic. But yeah, even though I thought Small Soldiers was just decent, I definitely would rather stick to Toy Story, which which is definitely without doubt a better movie about talking toys. But yeah, uh, with all that being said, I pretty much have nothing else to say about Small Soldiers. I mean, um... I mean, if you're interested in those type of action comedies, then then I'd say you should give Small Soldiers a watch. It's definitely worth watching. Um, and, and and although um, Small Soldiers doesn't really hold up too much, it's it's still it's still pretty much a cult classic. So, for my final overall thoughts on Small Soldiers, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten stars. A pretty decent action comedy from 1998. Thank you all for watching and listening to my review on Small Soldiers. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is me saying peace out.